Hi, this is Kristen. And I'm Iris. We're from the Cashmere Goat. Welcome to our sixth podcast. Number six. Mm-hmm. Yep. We couldn't figure out what number it was. We Trouble were close, counting. But... <laughs> it's been a little while too. It has. We've been busy. It's been busy. So we're gonna start though with um what we're wearing, because that's how we always start. Uh I have my Anchor Summer shirt, which I actually am in love with. And it is finally warm enough in Maine that I could wear this today because it's been a little chilly here in these parts. And um, yeah, so I'm happy to wear it. It's so comfortable. It's easy to take care of. I can't recommend this as a summer top more for just about any type of body. It's great. Um, And this, it's made out of um, monochrome DK. So. And you're wearing your cashmere goat pen. Yes. Pins. So great. Um, I'm wearing a sweater that I suddenly realized I wore already probably in the last episode, but it's been a while, so I forgot. This is the Ranunculus by Midori High Rose, I think. High Rose, I don't know. And I knit it in one strand of um, Plush Single by On The Round, and the colorway is Blue Muscle, I think. And then one strand of The cashmere, is it dreams? Yeah, cashmere dreams. Cashmere dreams from Lang to make it extra soft. But now I'm feeling overdressed because it is finally warm enough. So, you know, (laughs) there's that. But layering is the key in Maine in June. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. What are you working on, Kristen? Well, I'm excited to report. Uh, First, I'm going to show you what I've been working on. And that is, well, I picked up my, um, my cardigan, my crochet cardigan from last summer, the one that I started and went crazy on and gave myself a little bit of a shoulder injury and put away. And then, so I have picked it up now. This is the back and part of the sleeve that I'm working on. I just can show you. Don't look. I don't want to show it too close because you'll see my mistakes. I am um, a newer crocheter, but I've obviously learned it. Um, oh, my phone's ringing in the background. That's what that is. <laughs> this is real life, in case you're wondering. <laughs> um, so, but to get a picture of what this looks like, that is that is this pattern, and it is the Cabot Trail cardigan. And um, the pattern is okay. I'm getting through it. Um, there is some video support, it, which is also okay, but... Um, it's going to look so great over I, top of your Anker shirt. I like it. I wanted a summer cardigan, mm-hmm. and I'm doing mine three-quarter sleeve. For days like this, I can wear a tank top and still have something that makes me look a little bit more dressy. And, and it's Pima soft? Yeah, it's Pima soft by Barocco, so it's incredibly soft, which is exciting. Um, and then I am um, almost done with my shift, finally. Mm. So this will probably, this is, it's so pretty. I love it. It's satisfying and um, lots of different yarns and um, some, I guess it's uh, La Land by De Gilpin and what's the name of that yarn? Fully Spun. Fully Spun. Marled. It Marled is the changing and then the white is um, just Malabrigo in Ivory, my favorite. Uh, and if you can see in front of mm. you these colors, I am doing a test knit for Flynn Knit. No relation. <laughs> But um, I love her work. She's done a lot with hats, and this is her first sweater. And um, not probably her first sweater she's knit, but I believe it's her first sweater she's published. I could be wrong about that, but I think that is correct. This is the sweater, and um, it's a test knit. That's why they don't show a finished sweater in this. I'm really excited about this. It's a worsted weight. Um, and it's, it's a, like an introduction into color work sweater, yoke sweaters without being too complicated, but super cute. And I have chosen this lovely, uh, Zodiac from Seven Sisters. And they, this is the color. These are going to be the main colors. 
and this will be the pop of color in the middle and then this will be what is the the orange and pink on the sides of the pop of color I think that's those colors know. are amazing so we Miranda helped me pick these out the other day I was gonna go with gray and do something different in the middle and then I said you know what mm -hmm. I'm gonna do something entirely different so that is what I am going to be starting any minute now <laughs> swatching it up yep yeah we love those colors so much yes and what are you working on um well I have my new favorite bag, which you might have seen a video of me um, modeling with the purple, but this is like my very own precious. This is the Delic U Maker's Canvas Satchel. Uh, we still have one mustard, which we kind of think is one of the, the best. very special. I may have ordered a couple more yesterday. Oh my word, <laughs> exciting. So anyway, we're not gonna get into the bag. If you want all the bag details, there's another video about yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but in the bag, I have, I brought a finished object actually, because I just finished my Rye Light socks. I wore them yesterday, so I didn't even block them. Uh, Rye Light is a tin can knits pattern. It's a really simple sock. It reminds us, of course, of the um, the flax sweater by Tin Can Knits. The yarn is Zinnia by Seven Sisters Arts. It's a beautiful sock, and they're just really comfortable. Um, and so it's my first finished project for the finish along. And I purposely chose something that was a little bit of a low hanging fruit because yep. I just had to knit the leg and so that was really easy and now I get to be like yay I did something finished something um, and I also brought my love is love wrap which is a design by Alice Smith of Birch Tree Knits and this is just so much fun I'm using um, the on the round Roy G Biv rainbow little mini skeins and then Kristen's favorite ivory uh, <laughs> yep. in Machito, uh, Machita Malbrigo. But it's just really fun because you can see it's just every one of these bands is a, is a different stitch pattern. So not too boring. And it has a bit of a trapezoid shape. So right now I'm at the sort of widest part of the body and it's starting to flatten out, but it's really great. And I'm having so much fun. It makes me happy. Yay. So those are a couple things. I've got a couple other projects, but those are the ones I brought. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, we always have lots and I haven't, I don't have one of those bags yet. I, I kind of want the mustard one, but it, we might be twinning. <laughs> we could twin. We can twin. Mm -hmm. I can't decide if I want a twin or not. So, um, so, oh, we're going to talk about where I've been. I wasn't at the knit along on Sunday because I went on vacation finally. Um, and I went, uh, to a little remote Island just off of Deer Island, Maine called Eagle Island. We took the mail boat to get there, just my husband and our pup and, um, we had this big place all to ourself. Um, incredible view there was a lighthouse 10 minute less than 10 minute walk behind us there were no bugs um there were i saw a mink i saw a mink and then someone told me that um she goes oh no no rodents no and i'm, I'm like what oh. and she said they take care of rodents and i was like oh. and i saw and this was you know a, a, it's remote. There's an outhouse. There's, you know, I saw no signs of rodents, which I didn't think about because I didn't see them. So that was great. Thanks, Mink. <laughs> right. And it was just so cool to see. I've never seen one in the wild before. Um, beautiful. I have so many pictures uh, and truly a relaxing um, retreat for me, which I really needed. And I came back really motivated to work. Which is a good thing because I am leaving tomorrow evening to go on the Riggin sale with uh, Sawmill um, Sawmill Creek, Creek Fiber, Fiber Events, Events, Mary, and uh, um, nineteen other knitters, and um, we are. I'm really getting excited. I'm a little like ah, in three and a half days in between, do all the things. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna sail and knit and. 
I gotta buy some rain pants because the weather's looking a little wet. It's a bit like camping when you're on a boat, except for you have a dry bunk. Um, so it's it's interesting. You have a little sink in your bunk, and um, do they still have the handmade quilts on the bunk bed? I don't, they tell you to bring your own own bedding. Yeah. So I got stuff to do <laughs> tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so it's I'm excited, and there will definitely be um, on Instagram and Facebook. There'll be stories and posts. Um, and who knows if I get really motivated, maybe I'll make a little video. Who knows? It could happen. It could happen. Um, We're but... also going to do a little pop-up shop oh, for, right, the, for right. the knitters where Miranda and I are going to pack up some of the very special, most special things, mostly the local yarns, right? right? Yeah. And some maybe notions and maybe a few some of, bags. Maybe some bags. And we're going to pack it up into a truck and we're going to take it out so that those knitters have a chance to browse and do a little shop yeah. if they've forgotten anything or if they just want something else. want something special. Yeah. yeah. So we're excited. Um, I'm excited. And my team has been great. They did awesome when I left. Um, we kept the goat baby very oh, cared for. Oh, they were for. awesome. I had no uh, worries and I don't again. So it's great. Um, it's exciting. It's nice to finally get away and do stuff, even though it might be a little close together. It's and worked. we know at least, I think, one of of the um, the yeah. folks joining you on the sale was part of a couple of our net alongs. She oh, yep. comes from Alabama, and her name is Linda. So Kristen will get to meet her, and I maybe will. she'll swing through the shop. So I get to meet her in person. Yes. Um, but you know, so we've both actually been on the schooner before doing yep. trips and I have to say that it's my recollection was, you know, I brought a project, something, you know, small, maybe socks or something like that. And I had my book and I had my camera back when I had like a camera camera and I had my little bag that I would trundle up onto the deck each morning. And I'd get up there and I'd be having my cup of coffee and they would set out the coffee and like maybe a little scone or something early for the early birds. And I would just like sit there and not knit yeah. and, and not read and just yeah. sort of like be there and looking at the scenery. And the views oh. are stunning, which is kind of what happened to me on the island mm. this week. I did do some knitting because we had a fair amount of rain, but it just, I, the views, Maine is this is the time of year Maine shines. If you've never been to Maine, Maine is glorious at this time of year. And, and even when it's raining. Even when it's raining. And, and on the boat, they have that big like canopy that they set up in the like when you're the eating. I think. Bimini, bimini, I think it's called. Bimini. The bimini, nice. fun word. <laughs> nice vocab <laughs> use. <laughs> Um, but so, it's also always really, I think the other thing I'm just going to say is it was so interesting to meet the people that come on these trips yeah. too. You really get to know them. You spend four days with them and you just, yeah, you get to know them and, and in a really relaxed way, which mm. is unlike life and unlike even like on, I've been on cruise ships before and it's very different mm. than that because there's lots of walking around mm. and shows and excursions and like. This is more of a quiet vacation, which I'm all about. Mm -hmm. I think it's awesome. So, hooray, hooray. I'm glad you get to do that. <laughs> Me and too. I'm glad that you got away. I saw some of the pictures of Kristen's vacation and just looked dreamy. Yep. It was it was great. So, um, well, we don't have too much more, but we did want to just pop in and say hello because we've missed hello. having you, <laughs> podcast watchers. Um, we are rolling along with our finish along. We've got not just my socks, but somebody um, emailed me a picture of her finished Anker sweater. Awesome. So that was awesome. So if you're part of the finish along, please send along to me your um, finished object projects because we like to celebrate those. We do. Mm -hmm. We do, and we know how good it feels to finish something, especially if it's been something lingering. Uh, and we want to applaud you. Totally. Um, so we have a very busy summer ahead of us, which seems to have started early here in Maine. Um, we will continue to podcast as time allows us. We'll, we're going to try to make it a priority 
so we'll do it um two every two weeks hopefully yeah, hopefully but hopefully. the shop what Kristen means is like the shop has just gotten also really busy that's what i mean yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the store is busy mm -hmm. it is busy um it's been kind of a surprise how how busy we have been so it's fabulous we love it uh we love seeing all our customers i've had a lot of people already come in and say hi and that they're happy to be here and they you know that they've they couldn't wait to get here and so always say hi and if i don't recognize you mm -hmm. just know that i talk to a lot of people mm -hmm. <laughs> we all do yep. and um when we're busy sometimes we can overlook somebody and we don't want to overlook anybody so um give us a shout out um it's fun here in the summer it's busy but fun so i think that's it that's it and so hopefully we'll see you in a couple weeks and kristen can report on yes. how the cruise yes. went and we can update you with we just got a lot of new stuff coming and going we in do. here and we we're do. getting some really cool new stuff in so We'll update you on programs and classes too by email. So if you like the videos, like our podcast, feel free to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a little comment because um, those mean a lot to us because we're do. newbie podcasters. We're, yeah, yeah. And, and um, we really get a kick out of the comments. Um, uh, it's great. It's fun to hear. It's it, cause it becomes more of a conversation. Definitely. So we like it. So thanks for if you made it this far thanks for watching us and happy knitting happy knitting <laughs> bye bye